All right, get it. 1917 Browning MG, motherfuckers. And improved infantry equipment. Do you have 1917 Browning MGs? No. You got lots of factories, but you don't know how to build a gun to save your goddamn now we're, damn lives. And now we're actually pushing into his territory. Sprint right. for Chicago in the <sighs> north. Yep. So let's uh, cancel all currently standing orders. We're going to draw... Whoop, that's not what I wanted. We are going to draw... Yes, delete all orders. That's what I said. All right. Apparently, I am derping at the controls again. There we go. We're going to draw a front line that is as wide as we can get before... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's see. Where is... that? This that's is a good, good strategic spot yep. to hold. All right. And uh, Chicago. Go. Let's plan our route out a little bit. So we're across the river here, so obviously... I say just go, man. The run of the attack should come from there. Um, we do have some swampy terrain. Let's try to give our boys as clear a path as we can give them. And... Go. Go, go, go. End this. Home by Christmas. Home by Christmas 38 is the goal. Yeah. And then we can re we can begin reconstruction, which we yep. have been planning for, gentlemen. I think uh, war We're rationing, rationing is, is justifiable. Yep. We must ration our resources to focus entirely on winning the Civil War. All resources must be focused on... The American breadbasket is currently as as on fire. <laughs> so, uh, Reed will go down in history as the guy who left a gigantic fucking salient in the Midwest for no reason. Reason. And, uh... We took advantage. Ended the American syndicalist movement. Uh, single-handedly. Aren't Started you glad we're? Ended. Aren't you glad we're brilliant military strategists? Yes. Because I was just looking at that. I'm like, that's an ulcer. Yeah. He's not pulling. Uh, it. I was waiting for him to pull it back or at least widen the choke a little bit. Right. You know, like if he had pushed south. up to Canada. Yeah. But it, yes. All right. The Australasians have sent us some troops. These foreign troops, I'm sure, are helping a lot because those are more trained regular regiments. Except for that Garrison Division Austria sent See, us for we, some reason. See, we jumped these guys so hard that they never really had the chance to professionalize their own army. Yeah. We were fighting hardcore rebels with, you know, firearms, courtesy the Second Amendment, but we're the army. <laughs> it's, it's different. Yeah. It's just different. You are damn right we are. These guys are screwed. They should have retreated weeks ago. Their commanders knew what they were doing. Holding this... Does nothing for them. Uh, he no, should be Reed pulling should be, back, and, and that's another thing. Chicago. Reed Reed is obviously an ineffective commander in chief. He's, Wholly ineffectual. I think <clears throat> the history books are going to go down as saying go, that go, go. Reed and just Long take were Nashville. Yeah, Reed and Long were bunglers. I think that is what yeah, history will. Big part of the reason that they failed is because they had incompetent military command, um, and they just left Nashville open. So we're going to go ahead and grab that as soon as this battle's over. Home of country music. Back in uh, back in federal hands where it should be. Oh, they're going to try to counterattack now. Okay. They don't want to give up their Kenny Chesney, well, who hasn't been born yet. Okay, they're, they are intelligently starting to try to push south, but they didn't do it fast enough. No. We're they, now. They can't we are stop, now. They can't stop the. the we route. are. We are now driving into the Great Lakes region. All right. So let's extend our front line to make sure we can defend Nashville's flank here. And yeah, we're taking the Upper Midwest. My kingdom for a closer airport. <laughs> you but, have uh, one, Kansas City. Yeah, it's it's not going to be much better though. It's still okay. going to have about the same effective range to Chicago, and our fighters aren't advanced enough. We to need really to take O'Hare. That's really what yeah. it is. Once we have the Chicago airfields, their air superiority in the Midwest is going to be over. But uh, attention! Good job defending that flank. The Edwards, three hundred six vigilante men. I love it. Yeah, we got some uh, we got some auspicious divisions here. And oh, by the way, um, Mexico, the Kingdom of Canada, and the Pacific States of America, we haven't forgotten about oh, yeah. you. Yeah, no, these are these are our states. These are our states. 
If and you guys have you know a problem with it, what? these are our these states. These are our states. Yeah, you know what? You threatening us in a time of war, thinking you were huge. Yeah. We, we, we're going to remember that. I think uh, I think we got a little uh, little thing called War Plan Purple in store for the uh, we're Central going, oh, American city. When this war is over, we're going <laughs> we're going back down the Monroe Doctrine oh, tree. Yeah. And that is my decision, by the way, as Mr. Foreign Affairs. Our our status abroad uh, evaporated while we were fighting this little conflict. We, we went entirely in insular, and guess what? We lost New England for that reason. We are going to immediately flex our muscle when this conflict is over. Immediately. We need to prove that we still got it. And by the way, we will be in America with 38 divisions under armed, full of hardened combat veterans. Yeah. And a bunch of Look army. Look at this, even yep. our militia unit. Look at these fucking guys. The big red one. Our seasoned. Level four, yeah. Seasoned, almost level five. Yeah. Let's make sure they're not... Okay, yeah. Their fighting strength is good. I want to make sure we're not going to lose them before the war is over. Their fighting strength is actually very good. <laughs> for how long they've been in... Truck them, boys. And we have free factories. Let's, Keep it up. Uh, let's... Yeah, more more military in Colorado. Wyoming. Uh, Kansas has slightly better infrastructure. Yep. So let's... Yeah. Industrializing the American West, changing the face of the country. We are, and we're, we're going to talk. And we're going to talk about that, by the way. Yeah. Like when when the war is over and we take stock of what the nation looks like, liberty bonds liberty is a bonds, great idea. Win any war, we need to finance it, and our stock is on the rise, rise. right now. Well, heck yeah! <laughs> Buy war bonds, motherfuckers. Those things are going to inflate the quality. I'm just telling you. We're going to pay them back with the yeah. rated treasury of our enemies. <laughs> And by the way, how are we financing um, the boys out west? It's funny you should ask. When uh -huh. Washington D.C. fell, we raided the treasury and took it back with us. <laughs> yeah. We let's just say we subsidized <laughs> entrepreneurs in Colorado and Kansas via yeah. the Robin Hood strategy. We literally found wealthy real estate and construction moguls, wrote them blank checks for millions of dollars, <laughs> and said, "Make factories and hire workers and do it now." The government will foot the bill. And you know what we foot the bill with? Money that was just sitting in the treasury that we took before the, the syndicalists could take it for us. We spent a lot of our old gold. We're yeah. going to create a new Western-centric economy when the war is over. France is sending us another division. We appreciate it. We'll take it. And Reed is in trouble. Yeah. Big trouble. If Chicago falls, they're done. They'll, they'll start to evaporate. Yeah. They'll retreat back to D.C. or Detroit, but they'll be finished. Man, I wish uh, I wish there was more... Uh, more um, mechanics in Hearts of Iron for, like, sending speedboats... Yeah. ...across from the Upper Peninsula, because that's totally what I would do in this situation. Oh, there'd be some Dunkirk shit going yeah. on here. We'd be borrowing yachts. Yeah, <laughs> like to to transport troops. Yeah, because you know who owns yachts? Rich people. You know who's been uh, being terrorized by syndicalists for the last <laughs> year? Year or so. All right, tell you what, Alabama Lincoln Division, take the peninsula if you don't mind. It's completely undefended. You give us a larger frontage to fight them against. Did, oh, we started repairing something. I was like, why did we gain a factory and then immediately lose it? Because we've got to repair our damn railroads. Because the Rebs are fucking up the damn railroads. As they retreat, that's smart. Yeah. Reed is firebombing railroad stations as he retreats. Yeah. Can't can't say uh, can't say you're wrong there. He's he doesn't have much of a grasp of uh, the realities of the battlefield, but he knows uh, he knows terrorism, he knows economic warfare, and yeah, he knows terrorism. terrorism. Yeah. Look at the big red one. Look at your old division, boy. Yeah. Veterans. 75% combat modifier. They're almost as effective as two regular divisions. All right, keep uh, going. All right, where do we have some infrastructure? Utah's got some infrastructure. Yeah, the American West becoming a... Uh, yeah, we took the peninsula. The American West becoming an industrial The Sultanate center of Egypt is... declares war on the Ottomans and more ace pilots. Boom, boom. 
couldn't have said it better myself. Boom, boom, indeed. <clears throat> Another salient. Yeah, let's see if we can exploit that. Is this a single province crossing? No, that's a dual province crossing. Yes, but I bet you if we take this guy, I bet we can cut off some. Ready, sir. Cut off some rebels. Oh no, organization's too low. <clears throat> These guys have been harsh fighting too long to do that kind of a spearhead. Crap! They cut him off. They cut the Alabama Lincoln off. All right. Break them out. Louisville's been recaptured. Let's see what we can do here. Um, we're going to shorten up this front. I agree. Taking Chicago is literally of the utmost importance. Yeah. Under fire! Yes. We actually just want you to hang out there. Keep on moving! Oh, okay. We got some militia divisions on the way up. Still haven't captured a usable airfield, <laughs> so these guys are unfortunately not getting any support way up here, but... Let them have it. Okay, there we go. That's the breakout we need right there. We don't leave our boys behind. No. Yes, salient! Salient! Lock it up. Commands. Anybody who's free. I know you, I know you want to go save our... Uh, Save our compatriots up there, but this is a little bit higher priority right now. Yes, we have Liberty Bonds. Liberty Bonds. All right, so American business, business ties, ties, Texas yes. and Colorado get factory slots. We have made many. We have many military companies in the U.S. and remain loyal to America. With the Civil War upon us, let us call upon these companies to help us contribute to the war and make sure that we have victory. Go ahead and hire another uh, psychological advisor here. Absolutely. Divisions will recover morale faster. And that is worth its weight in gold. Oh come on! Can we just cut off these two divisions. Now oh, they're gonna make it out. They're they're doing a good job of being reactive. Like I'll give them that. They they are they are not great tacticians, but they are recognizing danger very well. But, to quote Nism, to be blunt, it won't be enough. <laughs> Dude, go. look at this. These guys are completely out of supply, and they're actually winning the battle here. Come on. They've got to hold on against this pincer attack. All right. We have supplies. And this battle turned around immediately. Oh, because they got back into supply. That was beautiful. Okay, so... Drive them down the coast. This militia division right here, the Chicago Union... Launched a counterattack against the Alabama Lincoln Intelligently. when they were completely out of supplies. If the Virginia National Guard, the New Hampshire National Guard, had not managed that breakthrough right there to get these guys resupplied, they probably would have been pushed Annihilated. all the way back into the lake. And now we're going on the offensive against them. We're taking the Great Lakes. They're taking the coast, though, which is intelligent of them. Yeah, let's... Uh... Let's defend the flank at Louisville. They're taking the coast, which is yeah. intelligent of them. But, um... That's all right. <clears throat> We're industrializing the West faster than they're going to be able to keep up with. Uh, let's get some factories in Nebraska. New Mexico. New Mexico. Harry. Arizona. And to, to, Tucson, man, look. We're at we're at our capacity. Oh. But, yeah, we'll, we'll industrialize that next. Yes. We yeah, need it. <clears throat> definitively changing the shape of American history by, by turning the the West into an industrial powerhouse. Oh man, did we need that. Okay. So, Thompson guns are a little ahead of time. Uh, we could get some tanks. I don't know why it sometimes just randomly unpauses itself. I wish I could figure that out. Oh, computing machine. And we're ahead of time on that. Let's get uh, next level of air doctrine. And um, let's see. How about the radio? We got the radio. Or the satellite tower. That's radar. radar okay. Yeah. It's, it's not that useful in Hearts of Iron 4, unlike it was historically. How about uh, better guns? We're a little ahead of no, time. No, I mean artillery guns, better oh. towed guns. How about the 37mm M1? Oh, that's oh, an anti air right. gun. <clears throat> so let's see. We could start on naval doctrines. Start on something we're ahead of time on, man. It, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Like, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get. Um, 
logistics and signals. Yeah, let's get a signal company because that yeah that extra that extra initiative twenty percent initiative is pretty good for our our play style, which is to keep all of our orders on aggressive most of the time. All right, so they're getting reinforced up here. Took back Louisville, which I was almost expecting to happen. Gotta get that airfield. Fourth of July. Democracy will be restored. I think we get that every Fourth of July for as long as the Civil War is going on. Oh man. We're on the outskirts. If we take Chicago and cut these guys off, we can sweep up through Milwaukee and surround a huge number of their divisions. Do it. Put more people on that. Let's see. Did we take back Louisville? Right there. We're working on it. In the process of taking it back. Well, once we do, I think we can find, go for the final push on Chicago. Actually. Oh, shit. Actually. Is so low though. That's that's the thing. We're pushing our guys hard and they're getting it done, but they can't, you know, they can't sustain the pace. They're having to stop and rest, which is exactly why we're hiring these division recovery rate ministers. Absolutely. So that we can keep. Pushing, I mean, keep our, our boys are pushing. legend. This is the greatest accomplishment in American military history to this yeah. point. A a group of a tiny group, the Iron Guard Romanians yeah. and the Bulgarian. Let let it come. Those yeah. are national rivals. Yep. And I'll be able to take stock of foreign affairs when the war is over, as is my job as yes. Minister of Foreign Affairs. Indeed. You're Secretary of the Army, I'm Secretary of State. MacArthur is currently the President. <laughs> yes. So, let's see. 97, 98? Yes. Keep on attacking! Go! Chicago. Actually, we want you guys... Taking aim! to loop up through here and pincer them. Oh, shit. They're not defending their flank. We're going to cut off Chicago from the rest of the CSA. Do right it. Right here. This guy's not even moving to reinforce. These incompetent amateurs. Communist militia do not an effective fighting force make. <coughs> Let it cut be off known. everyone. We're gonna cut off everyone in this pocket. Let it be known. Oh shit, son. Oh shit, son. We take, we've taken Chicago. They're cut off. Keep on rolling right up uh, in Milwaukee. Don't give. Oh, them don't, let him, don't let him retake it. Don't let him retake it. Oh, like, we won't. Chicago, Chicago captured. captured. We are all We're Americans. All Americans with business ties, military Very build up. up. Utah, and New Mexico get some factories, and uh, rifle situation is static. It hasn't gotten worse. It hasn't gotten better. Yeah, they're 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 not going to push. Oh, and we have O'Hare. That's a game changer. Oh, air superiority over the Midwest. Mr. Reed, you have an appointment with the judge, <laughs> sir. Yes. The Supreme Court of the United States of America will put him on trial. Our ideology is growing. We don't we need don't, it. We don't need to spend political power on our ideology. It's just going to change when we finish our focus tree anyway. All right. Chicago's safe. We're advancing up, the, uh, up Lake Michigan here. 